the night rain by Madison Julius Cowain, tattered in wrecked raiment of rain the night arrives, outside a window where he stands and, streaming, taps upon the pane or, crouching down beside the stellar stair, letting his head brim drain, mutters, black gazing through his trickling hair. When on the roof of cautious feet he treats, whispering a word into the windy flues, and all the house huddling its flower beds looks dark of face, as if it heard strange news, hugging the musky heads of all its roses to its sides of oaths. Now in the garden with a glow-warm lamp, night searches, letting his black mantle pour, treating the poppies down with hairy tramp, fudding the apple, sodden to its core into the dripping damp, from boughs so red loads, dragging more and more. Then if a barney fumbles, gropes his way through splashing pools, and seeping enters in the stalls and creeps among the bedding hay, burying him moistly to his clammy chin, by near him brown and grey, the dozing cattle make a drowsy din. The martin box, poiled high above the gate, he pushes till the fluttering fiddlings wake, wondering what bird it is that comes so late. When to the henhouse door he gives a shake, or like a thief await, leans a listening softly with black heart a quake. When with his ragged cloak flung back he goes the flickering lantern, of a stream of a flow breathing wet scents of wayside wet and rose, and cut the music of a frog and toad, a firefly light with glows green as his hand to guide him on his route, and doofing then upon the wooded hill, his head of cloud a little while he stands, hearkening in silence to the leaping rill, when stopping low he lifts in his new hands a great gold defoldy, the moon and pins it in his cloak's blown bands.